Let's take a look at finding the mean on the HP 39G2 uh, graphing calculator. The numbers we'll be working with are these over here. We want to find the mean of them. So we'll start with 1319. Now we're going to go and push our apps first. And we want to go into the statistics one var. So if it isn't already highlighted, use your arrow keys to highlight it. And uh, then we want to press the enter. Now if you have numbers here, um, that's fine. We'll clear them out. See the clear button over here? If you press the clear, it'll delete that number out. Okay, so now we're going to type in our new numbers. So we've got 13, enter, 19, enter, 23 and 31. So 23, enter, 31, enter, 45 and 46. So 45, enter, 46, enter, 47, enter. Uh, 51 and 53. So 51 enter and 53 enter. Okay, now that we got those entered in, you see this over here on the far right, there's a stats option. We'll choose a button right below it, which is F6. And it comes up with these options, and you can use your arrow key to scroll down. And when you get down to here, the, now it may show scientific notation here. See that says 3.64 E1. What that says is 3.64 times 10 to the first. But down here you'll see the actual value. It says 36.44. Rounded two decimal places. And that would be our, this X bar is a sample mean, but it's also the same as population mean. Because remember the formula is the same for them. And that's how you find a um, mean on an HP 39G2 calculator. And you can click the F6 that's below uh, the OK. And then just click your home button. In this video, we took a look at finding the mean on an HP 39G2 calculator.